So yesterday they miscreated that they decided to stream and they showed off a ton of new stuff that will come to the game. And because of that, I'm gonna do another miscreated upcoming features video. So it's a little bit different than all my other upcoming features videos. I'm gonna take some parts of the stream, cut them down and make the devs explain the stuff that they're showing off. Because honestly, they know a lot more about their own stuff than I do. But don't worry, I will also talk a little bit left and right. So first I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that they showed in the video and test it. Then I'm gonna make this little small montage of the sewer system. And on the end, I'm gonna show you guys the best Q&A questions where they actually give a pretty nice reply on. And if you don't like it, just play Marco. I don't know why, but everybody's blaming Marco. Just, just play Marco, alright? I'm joking, Marco. I love you. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the new UI system or the starter menu, whatever you want to call it. It looks a lot better than the old one and I really like it. And here's Terry actually giving you guys a little bit more of an explanation about it. Terry is a developer. Just letting you know. Uh, so this is kind of the general look of it. It looks a lot better, obviously, than the old one does. So I'm just going to go through and quickly talk about it. So I'm kind of going to go in reverse order. There's a new patch note screen. Uh, as far as for the settings menu, there's a lot more as far as for options we want to add here. I think internally we have a list of, what do you think Kendrick, 15 options, maybe 20. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and join the server now. Uh, you know, player setup is still pretty basic. And then as far as for joining the server, this is the new uh, server browser window. There's quite a few more filters down here on the bottom we're going to add. By default though, when you first bring the window up, it's only going to show you official servers. And then you can uncheck the official checkbox on the bottom to view all servers. So the next thing they show off is the new stamina system and the torpedo value. And yes, I have no clue how to say both those words. But we still got Terry. Here's another explanation by Terry. One thing you'll notice right away is the stats bar on the lower right. Uh, we added two more at the top. The very top one is your stamina. So for example, if you jump, you'll see your stamina go down now. And the second one is your torpidity value. And when that gets too low or to zero, you're gonna be knocked out in the game. So after that, they showed off how the unconscious system works and they did this by using a tranquilizer gun. So what we wanna do now is, is kind of do a demos of the new torpidity and unconscious system. This is something that we've wanted to add to miscreated for a long time as a way of knocking players out and you know, kind of incapacitating them instead of your only option, you know, to be killing players. So Hendrik, do you want to, let, let's have you shoot me and we'll show them. Okay. Just shoot me once to start with. Okay, and I don't know if you noticed, the second bar down is the torpidity that went down and now it's slowly going back up. This is, you know, the effect that will actually knock you out. And my screen's kind of going weird and blurry, the effect on it now. Okay, so now I'm knocked out. I get the little message saying I'm unconscious, my screen goes black. Okay, now I'm starting to wake back up. All right. All right, now I'm starting back up. So when a player is knocked out now, you can loot them. And also, if you tie a player up, you can loot them. But it's been changed now to where you can loot everything on the player. Before, you couldn't loot all of their items. But now, you know, on the inventory screen, you can actually loot everything on a player as well. So that was one of the changes we made. Hey, Hendrik, they want to have me uh, knock you out so they can see what it looks like. So as I mentioned, now you can loot everything from the player that you want. Before, you couldn't loot all the items, but that was changed, so you can now loot everything on that player. Oops, sorry. So that's that's kind of the way it works there. So I think this will be a, a lot more fun for you people. I hope you're... You know, this is when those game changes will be, you know, should be fun. If you get shot unconscious, you will be unconscious for about 30 seconds. The reason why they woke up so fast was because he's adrenaline shots. So if your friend gets shot unconscious, he can always have an adrenaline shot and wake him back up. But there are more ways than one to actually get somebody unconscious. He can also shoot somebody with these new shotgun shells, as you can see in the bottom right. Sadly, they didn't show it on stream. And they also added a bunch of new grenades. Here's a little bit of an explanation what they do. Sleep grenade, which will just knock you out. Then the nerf grenade, which which will kill the players and then we have also the tear gas grenade which will basically do a little bit damage but not too much we went through these earlier the tear gas one and all these kind of have a different purpose one one reduces players stamina more stamina more one reduces their uh torpidity more to knock them out another one does damage to players as well over time. So they all kind of serve different purposes. They also mentioned that a dust mask and a banana will cancel out the effects a little bit of the grenades. And if you have a gas mask, the smokes slash grenades will not have an effect on you. I'm quite happy about this. I mean, that the gas mask actually has used and just looking cool. In this next clip, you can see them test out one of the grenades. Should we try out the gas grenade? 
so it applies uh, more when you are in the center of the range and uh, it will also increase the time you are unconscious as the ga gas is still streaming in so we, while they are unconscious you can uh, handcuff them and you can also do it beforehand and knock them out Oh yeah, they also showed the new cars off that they're gonna just like lay around in the street, you know, ones that you can drive. Yeah, these are the new cars that Carl was working on instead of the old crappy cars. For the base builders, they also added some new base building stuff. So one of the things we're adding for base building is a solar powered generator. So you'll be able to, to craft this. And I believe uh, this is in the powered parts guide. So if you have the powered parts guide, this will be available to craft for base building. A craftable wolf pelt rug for your base if you wanna use that. You know, just some trivial things that got thrown into. And last item they actually showed off was a rat hat lamp. And basically, it does the same thing like a white one, except it's harder to spot. So it's pretty good for the sewers. There is a red headlamp now that you can use that emits a red light. And here's some stuff they talked about that they're working on for batch 50. So one of the things that is being worked on that's had a lot of time spent on as well is uh, kind of an item degradation system. And this will not be in update 49, but a lot of work has been done on it and... We'll, it'll probably be rolling out in update number 50. So items will all, you know, you if you shoot somebody, you'll damage their items. Uh, depending on where you shoot them at, there'll be protection based on what you're wearing. You know, whether you're wearing helmets or kind of a ballistic vest, all those will protect you against taking damage as well. Uh, that should be in update 50. But all of your items get damaged. As you use items, they can degrade and get damaged as well. So these were the items that they showed off. If I missed something, leave it in the comments because I might have missed seeing something or not seen something right. But here's a little showcase of the sewer system. Oh! I think I showed you guys enough of the sewer system, but let's just say it's so big they didn't show the whole sewer system on the stream. It's also really confusing where to go because it's that big, and they say if you know it out of your hat, you will easy move around in Haywood without getting spotted all the time. Also, Terry says there's an Easter egg, so if you found out what the Easter egg is, tweet it at me. I will love you forever. You know, that's kind of all you know, what, what I want to show for the sewers. Like I mentioned, there's a lot down in the sewers. And, you know, like I said, there, there's an Easter egg in there. I thought there's more than one, but there's one I know of that you guys can find when you're down there. But yeah, they go all over underneath Hayward Valley, so they're, they're pretty complex. Underneath. So patch 49 is actually kind of already out. It's kind of an experimental server. You're probably wondering, hey, how can I join these experimental servers? Well, you go to your game library, then you right-click on miscreate it, then you go to properties at the bottom, then you click on betas, and then you just change it over there. And it will automatically download experimental, and you can play the new miscreate patch. Also, it's really important if you want to test this beta test, and you find any bugs, that you tell the devs about it, so they can fix it before it comes in the actual patch. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys are some questions that people asked in a stream and the devs responded to it. They gave some more information about stuff they said they're going to add and they also gave away some stuff that they were going to add in the future. Okay, there's one about um, when it's prone coming. That is a good question. I'll just mention that again. Prone, give you guys a quick little update on prone. So CryEngine has an issue with prone. It doesn't support prone by default. And so we've been working on, you know, well over a year, uh, you know, now and then trying to get prone into the game and you know, we've been fixing bugs in it in almost every update testing that so we're, we're getting close but that's one of the features I think we're gonna really prioritize here soon uh, from a tactical standpoint it makes a lot of difference having prone in the game there is a question about uh, scopes coming into the game I know we have um, a few of them for hunting rifles and things I don't know if you want to update everybody on that as well yeah we definitely want to add more scopes uh, to the game it's a lot of this is more technical limitations that we need to go overcome in CryEngine rather than just us not wanting to add them. Scope is one of those where we have to do the screen overlays for the scopes and everything. New mutant designs, yeah. We definitely want to add new mutants. Again, we've kind of put the AI system on hold while Kythera catches up and gets everything working and optimized. Uh, when can we loot a body when other players are nearby? You want to give him the good news on that one, Hendrik? Yeah, the uh, player to close one has been removed, so it's now uh, working like this that you can open uh, inventory one person 
uh, inventory can open it and uh, it doesn't depend if someone is close to it or not. So in other words, it's been fixed, so you shouldn't have that issue anymore. There's a couple questions about floating bases they would like to know. Yep, that's, that's still that's being worked on. Uh, it is not in this one, I apologize, but we're very well very aware that you guys find that extremely annoying. And here's Mark talking about something new he's building. Well, he didn't really tell us a lot, but, you know, we can still imagine it. And then there's obviously another underground area I'm working on in, in Hayward, which I haven't talked about yet, so... Okay, alright. I'll leave that for a secret for now, until I'm a bit further along with it. So this was my upcoming features video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I took like an hour long stream and put it in like 10 minutes, 12 minutes. So you guys don't have to watch the whole stream to know all this information. I just want to say thank you to the Dash for streaming this and showing us this information. And I hope I helped some of you guys and have a nice day. See you later. Bam. Outer.